My name is Brian Holtz. I'm the Heritage Marketing Group Manager of Deer & Company in Moline, Illinois. We're standing right next to the last 4020 tractor produced in 1972 off the assembly line. The sticker you see right here is the actual list price sticker, as they say the sticker price of this tractor when it came off the assembly line. One of the many options that the Model 4020 had was on the front end package. We offered the single wheel front end, a tricycle front end, rollomatic front end, as well as an optional wide front end like you see here. Another one of the many options that the Model 4020 did offer was a difference in tire sizes. Here we have a 16434 tire along with the standard axle. We also offered a wide axle, again for those variable adjustable wheels that we can match to different row crops. From the rear of this cab tractor, we can better see the rollover protection structure that goes all the way from the top of the cab, through the cab, down alongside the fender, and mounts solidly right here on the rear axle. Again, it was that structure that saved a lot of operators' lives when the tractor was operated on too steep a terrain. We're up in the operator station now, and while we get to look over that nice streamlined hood, we also have great visibility to both sides because we're sitting nice and tall on our deluxe seat. One of the many changes that happened on the new style 4020, we got rid of some of the bulky levers and changed it to cable control power takeoff, readjusted the shift lever, and also made all the hydraulic controls right here at the driver's side, just like we do on the modern day tractors we roll off the assembly line today. This tractor is as original as you're going to get. It's never left the factory. It's always been here in Waterloo, Iowa. It's got the original tires, original labeling, original paint. We couldn't think of a more deserving classic tractor than the Model 4020 to have the attention of Mr. Chip Foose to do an overhaul on.